Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match, oh my god it's a blitz, uh, between Perivale and his Proels and Gilead and his Norse. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody and here we have the Battle of Armour 7. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is, uh, this is a pretty tough looking matchup for the Proels because the Norse are the ones with the inducements, uh, they've got a babe, they've got 12 players, the Proels have got 3 journeymen so... Yeah, they, and you know, obviously Norse, they've only actually got one tackle, that's weird. weird. Normally Norse linemen get a fair bit of tackle, right? Because yes. they, they don't have anything else to Because they have no other option. They have no <laughs> other one uh, to pick uh, most of the time. Yeah, and then they've got plenty of plenty of frenzy, which, you know, so getting, they've got Pullman's tackle and good tackle, and it's pretty bad. Pretty bad for Al. So here we go, we've gone for the Dakar. It looked like he was going to set up for a quick score at first. Then he changed the Dakar, and we've got a... A lovely Dakar going on now. Love to see a Dakar. Oh. It's probably got to uh, re roll that now. Yeah. Yikes. Very valid steam here with three loaners and still. Wait, is that diving catch? Yeah, he misclicked diving tackle. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, How brutal. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Especially on a pro elf catcher, right? That's already got nerves of steel, so it just does like literally nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that was a that was a real bad one. It's half of the combo for Hail Mary Pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he could have gone for Hail Mary Pass. Shouldn't. It does, yes, it does give you the odd thing, and you know, it lets you catch kickoffs and stuff. But essentially, it's as, it's it's more worthless than it would be on any other player, right? Like diving catch is better than nerves of steel most of the time for a uh, for a catcher, like you know, for an elf catcher, like a high elf catcher. I would rather have, and I wouldn't want either. I would rather have diving catch than nerves of steel. Um, like down catches near is basically as good, but yeah, as a combination, it's it's not a, it's a wombo rather than a combo. Better to have diving cats that not having it, but <laughs> nearly any other uh, agility skill would be better. Yeah, nearly. yeah, yeah, definitely. Ah yes, the good old penis cage here. A classic, well not really a penis cage, a chode, a chode cage here. Of course the classic penis cage has three players in the line with two there. But he's got he's got the chode. <laughs> chode cage. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Love to see it. If only if only he had one more player in, in the cage. Exactly, Noam Tor. Exactly. That tells you all you need to know, doesn't it? You can do quite well, I guess, by doing literally the opposite of everything Reddit tells you to do. And you'll probably get pretty good advice overall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love high elf catchers and elf still many skills for that. Here we go. There's a there's a there's a number of weak points in this defense. So, yep, you've got to come through one of these two guys. One of these two guys. Yeah, and you can just you can just put him down as well. A gaping hole. I'm not sure about putting two guys into him. I mean, he can put another one and get to the two dice. Oh, there is uh, someone uh, coming to the booth. Oh. It's purple chest. Boy, howdy. How old are you Incredibly lazy. I missed the end of the... Hello? Have I missed the end of the good day, match. Opinion, one of the best commentators <laughs> that I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Singolo. Match. Singolo. Oh, no, well. you're spoiling it now for the YouTubes. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, spoiled it for YouTubes. Uh, Singolo won, but whoever Singolo next opponent is is the one who really won, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> one of the bulls, one of the bulls died in the classic uh, GFI fail into yep. death. <laughs> Spoils for fuck's sake. <laughs> hello, hello, Chanter. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, here, Dev. Yeah, I've got, I've got some experience of Battle Brothers, um, Reddit, and that's pretty similar. Yeah, <laughs> there's been some, there's been some hilarity in the Battle Brothers Reddit. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, fails the GFI. Comes in with a palm. Bowman's tackle. Armor break doing the thing. Piling on. No. Unbelievable. And I think uh, Perivale was in chat earlier, I think he's still here. Oh, Perivale, don't spoil anything for us. <laughs> and again there is there is another there is another gaping hole here, isn't there, to push forward into? It is oh, a bit yes. it is a bit scary obviously with the frenzy and everything, but still you should yeah. be able to layer this up and make it safe. I mean, Norse do style themselves king to the sideline, but... This is a bit rowdy, isn't it? I think that's, that's a lot bit of movement. Fun. That's a... yeah, it's a very advanced square. Could have just come here. A lovely matchup, this. You know, Pro-Elves have all the tools to uh, to embarrass Norse. They're very fast. They do have lots of sidestep. They're cheap, so they can't afford to, you know, lose a couple of pieces to the Norse attrition. And still have the good Elves safe and able to do their thing. But Norse, of course, you know, very good matchup as well for them. It's AD7, that they are able to remove en masse lots of elves if they really get on top of them. So it's a really fascinating matchup, this one. Yeah, yeah this is really rowdy. I, I don't like this. He's mm. 2D on the ball, isn't he? It? Just an easy yeah, I mean, on the ball. And he did one go for it there, didn't he? When a second one was available to get in front of the ball, at least. No, he did two. He did two. Oh, he did he two. Just okay. moved the ball too far forward, if, if you ask me. <sighs> and it's also the only way to get past that bit. Yeti, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he got past the Yeti, but... Giving up a 2D on the ball is maybe not the best way to get past the Yeti. <laughs> I, I did love it, Jim, though. He's not even doing it. Wow. What the hell? Why not? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then he was like, here or something? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How do you not do it? Uh, uh, rather nicely, he's improved the elf defense. Yeah. Nice catch. Which, you know, um, the catch is better now. Well, and even helps him get, you know, the stall further down the field next turn. That was just in every way. No good. No. Um, great choice. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you how to cage better. <laughs> As a Norse coach, uh, I have been to. I am fully qualified from uh, Space Cadets <laughs> Ball Protection Academy. <laughs> I can see you've made a perfectly formed cage here, so I shall attack it by uh, <laughs> putting another player in it. <laughs> Particularly when the Yeti was so good and two turns in a row just moved where he wanted him. To, yeah. to not try and take advantage seems foolish. Yeah, that was... Oof. And now the Yeti is going to get hit. Oof, I don't like this though. You've got to protect, you've got to protect this guy. I mean, I guess you don't. You can just let him surf him and then think, well, at least if he why, surfs why? him, he's not threatening the ball. But... Why, why are we hitting the Yeti again? Because he can. I don't know. Because the Yeti okay. was there. I mean, it was there, and now it isn't, and that's that's better. But that elf that's marking it gets surfed, doesn't it? If he wants to, well, rather it's... this one, right? This one's yeah. Uh... yeah. You do have no no break tackle on the yeti, but of course, yes, lots of other surfy options. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got he's got he's got a he's got a Norse team, so yeah. Oh, he's gonna yes. foul it. Oh no, he didn't. No. Foul. He's not blitzing with him because he's he wants to care about the balls. No rerolls, yeah, it's a, though. It's a turn too late, possibly, for that, Jim. Yeah. I felt the only answer was we were giving up the drive for attrition, but I, I didn't see why, but... Yeah. 
No, I'm I'm baffled by the Norse play here. The thing that he just, you know, put all his players next to the elves at the top, you know, but giving them enough space, you know, like very polite, I I suppose, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's being polite, isn't he? This is the Canadian defense. <laughs> yes, the Canadian defense. Very polite, you know. Just okay. I'll hit this player here, the other player there, but don't worry, don't worry. You have your space, you know. Respect. <laughs> You've got to respect people's boundaries and... Because <laughs> I'm trying to beat you, there's, there's no reason that you shouldn't, yeah. Have the sort of acres of wheat that Canadians are used to, aren't they? It is a country with a lot of space. Well, um, I mean, that was, I suppose, a decent attrition foul, but it's a... Feels a bit sort of after the, the horse has bolted, does it not? Yeah, it's a little bit. I you know, maybe Gilead forgot that he's playing a cup game. <laughs> a bit like me planning what I'm going to do when I grow up. Though. You sort of feel that, that boat has sailed. <laughs> That's the perfect reverse field stall, isn't it? Yeah, I You guess. can go in either direction. There's, I mean, you might argue that perhaps it's a little loose around the ball, but it, <laughs> it gives so many beautiful options to escape. It's not It's not difficult when there's seven of your opponents are in, are in your half. <laughs> it was so perfect that even opponent participated, you know? <laughs> Look, there's f five people are in the wrong half, and then two of them are near the side. If I was going to be cheesy, Jim, I would suggest that the elves could have it in a position where the Norse couldn't get ball contact. Yes. Because uh, I don't like unwelcome ball contact. Well, that's just your that's just your that's just your opinion, man. <laughs> I look, if other people are into that, then uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you, you do you. <laughs> but leave my balls alone. <laughs> oh dear. That's the KO. Finally some attrition. It's not, there's, he's been very lucky of running, but there's only 11 elves. There's only 11 elves. So this is... Uh, this well, there still are. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, that is the big problem for Paravale, that Even though he's got away with it so far, any turn is, is quite likely to just be absolutely brutal, isn't it? There we go, like this one. There you there go. Are. There you go. The classic uh, prediction of the commentators. <laughs> Nostra Fantasticus Jim. <laughs> oh, look at that, you see? Polite Canadian. Don't put it anywhere, it could cause any problems. The menace must remain phantom. Hello, Arnalax. I. I. Hello, Arnalax. <laughs> I've seen people giving up, but you know, tries for uh, attrition. I've done it myself a few times in the days of what I was playing, but that involved the actual attrition. <laughs> well, he's got And I plan. think it was absolutely unnecessary in this uh, drive. I think Pants have more than enough chances to put pressure on the Proverbs. Yeah. I mean, more than enough chances. As Jimmy said, there was a. I mean, it did involve three go for it, and that's perhaps very risky. But there was a two die on the ball. Just yeah. take that. Yes, I, yes, I think there was no GFIs for two D on the ball. Literally. Most of us spend an entire half trying to make those happen, and then when someone gives you one, to go, yeah, I, maybe not. It, it's a strange choice. Yeah, I, I think it was just free. It's just a free two D, I believe. I'm picking my words with YouTube level care. <laughs> my. Uh... Do you, know, do you know what he could have done here, right? He could have taken the push, then pushed no again, at all, yeah. th then pushed, then pushed with the uh, Yeti twice, so that he could have got an extra pom hit. <laughs> that would have been funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, he would. Have, he would have. It just just putting him down would have been good, wouldn't he? Because then he and then that would have given him a turn to pull back his players that were on the on the wrong side of the ball. But he did. He never really recovered them till now. Till turn seven, he's finally recovered the players that were in the opponent's So yeah, I feel like he could have defended uh, more stoutly, but there you go, he's, he's just done a foul and cast somebody, so a good bit of norsing. Lose <laughs> the player, but nice trade. 
I mean, maybe this is the answer. He always planned to win by there just not being any elves left. Yeah, I mean, that is the Norse plan, isn't it? Essentially, win by Very embracing often, is, yeah. is Norse's go-to plan. Hope that and your uh, armor seven bash team out, out bashes I mean, you. When there's a, a dual clug, jug, a claw jug upon Yeti, um, it does slightly signal I like to hit things, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, we miss uh, yes. Break tackle to make you know the hits easier, but other than that, yes. But uh, we are seeing Adaka. That scene is the first time I've seen Adaka. This is a victory lap around the, the field. <laughs> yeah. The pro elves yeah. just run around all the pitch <laughs> to reach the other side. I mean, if you're going to do this, and you shouldn't, but if you're going to do this, and really just don't do something better with your whole time. But if you're going to do this, then surely that Yeti should have break tackle as a fourth skill instead of guard. Um, because if you're going to put all the skills on it killing things, it needs to be able to move and kill things. And Break Tag gives it a much more fearsome range. Well, as my friend said, who wasn't very good at Blood Bowl and was skilling up a, uh, a Rat Ogre, I said, some people on Fumble take Break Tackle. And he said, but if I'm next to something, I'm going to punch it. Which is which is a pretty good point. <laughs> so I'll, I'll did you ask them, break tackle. Did you ask them whether they thought a four plus or a three plus two plus was better? Because that's now going to be my go-to question. <laughs> I didn't, but I thought that was that. I thought that was a fair comment. It is. To which I suppose the next there is more to that conversation. There are more sentences afterwards pointing out why that isn't. No, no, my, the, the more to the was, conversation was, that was that me saying, that. fair okay. enough, fair enough, okay, hey, I didn't did think that. of that. I, yep. <laughs> fuck, fuck well, break tackle, it's idiotic. He just, he just when, convinced me I was done. When I was told that it was pure maths, that a 4 plus was better than a 3 2, I thanked him for the tip. Yeah. Well, as well you might. <laughs> I always seem to learn, Jim. <laughs> Let's try. see, let's see, you know, they, they, they need to check the, the <laughs> properly. Oh, it was a 3-2, it was a 3-2, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. really, really want to, I, I wish I wasn't quite such a lazy bugger. <laughs> I'd love to have a book with people's names and whether I think they can Let me check idiot. the Samba 4. Oh, wait, you, 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 sorry, sorry if I'm here. PC may not be a dwarf man, but he's just literally admitted to being a dwarf here. He wants his own book of grudges. I, no. <laughs> No, I was just thinking I'd have a book and then in one half I'd have players that have impressed me and the other half players I think are idiots. And then I realised that I literally wouldn't need the first half of the book. I would, I, would, I would just need the second half. And you're right, it then would be a book of grudges. But whilst I have that vague desire, I, I'm nowhere near OCD enough to do it. Outstanding. You need to, to let it go, PC. You need to let it go. You, you can live in uh, <laughs> anger and rage. It was actually, it's my favourite uh, little passage in the whole Terry Pratchett uh, disc world cash a thon of mild sarcasm and gentle irony. That um, I liked it when uh, Rincewind was semi conscious and, and was putting little pebbles in a circle and trying to build a wizard tower. <laughs> with the tiny little bit of magical sense that he had. <laughs> so I suppose my desire for a book of grudges is like that. Yes. The list of purple chests, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, I will never remember that fella's name, but I'd love to think the next time I rolled into him, I'll remember that, that he thinks a four plus is better than a three two. <laughs> and feel quite confident in the game. Yeah. But I, I won't, will I? If you write a book of grudges, you can send it to the New York Times and they'll, you know, make a number one bestseller or something like that. <laughs> a beautiful wing the, thing. Beautiful thing about it. Everything is a number one and a yeah. great book. Ooh. Just uh, blitzes somebody into it, thus completely... No, no, you've got the, he's got the arm right, but it's still completely negated the point of a Vengabus, didn't it, if you're going to push somebody into it? To some degree, <laughs> yes. I mean, to, and particularly if... Yes, I mean, that one did entirely because that was the person right in front of the ball carrier and he had no card. Yeah. Uh, but it was a load of gym and we were hitting it, so it was dead already. Yeah. Didn't pile, yeah, the biggest the biggest shock of that turn was there was no pile. Even bigger even bigger shock than there not being a removal, there wasn't a pile. Mm. I don't believe it. Seems that uh, Perry Valle is not going to be 
as uh, polite as uh, Gilead and is uh, going, going to put some pieces on the way of the Norse. <laughs> That's just rude, <laughs> isn't it? Score, absolutely rude. It is a bit rude, rude, yeah. As pro elves are the lowest elves, you know, probably, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolute rampant toxicity. <laughs> What is wrong with this community? I am surprised he hasn't paused the game to go and seek a clarification in the CCL Discord. He As may have done. Putting, <laughs> putting a defense in front of the drive is actually legal. He may have done. This is this is not live. He, there may well have I, been a pause at this point. <laughs> he piled on an AKO there. Nice. Okay. He's got jump up though, hasn't he? And he, may, he might want to entice a foul. I mean, I can understand the pile on, on armor breaks only, but yeah, you, yeah. you already got the kill. Get mighty blow hit, wouldn't he? That was it. He was going to get mighty blow hit back, so he was like, let's let's pile on. Like, that's how stupid pile on. The, the disadvantage of it is actually an advantage sometimes, isn't it? Ridiculous. Yes. Yes. I mean, it, it, it's complex. It's almost like it can't be summed up in single, single sentences. But yes, there's times being on the ground is a distinct advantage. There's times it's not an asset. Um, but it's still something I don't mind seeing on the opponent's team because a lot of people that use it are idiots. <laughs> and, and just over pomp at times where it is ruinous to their position. <laughs> he felt well, rude removing the play and was planning on to try and get the stun. <laughs> oh my god, no, I'll let you do it up. <laughs> I'll make oh, you better. Perivil's kind of giving him a free block, so that was nice of him. Basing, yeah. basing the jump up guy, basing the jump up pommer. So not totally without morals here, Perivale. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's strange, Jim. I mean, I, I oh, like the shapes the Norse is throwing. Uh, it's just that first half was strange. Yeah. Random cast. Yeah, pretty nice. The tackle are getting a punch. I mean, is is that the wrong the square? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Shouldn't one to the right just be... Safer and nicer. And, oh, uh, I suppose not. These. Yeah, he's got this. I suppose that's fine. Here we go. The free pump up does work, and it gets an injury. Yeah, absolute justice there. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a poor choice. I mean, unless he felt that restricting the movement down that flank was the only way of holding them back, but it, it you know, with the single player in front of the middle area, it didn't look like that was you know, that important to really hold them. No. If if it was some kind of, you know, Inari not jump to turn where you were like getting extreme ball pressure, then obviously tagging yep. him to just use two people's up you know, one or two people's actions and you know the trade off maybe, but he was just doing nothing, he was just stood around in front of him. Yeah, Apple use I, I, on the yeah. KO by the Norse, I'm not the hundred percent sure about that, but okay. And didn't want to, yeah, I didn't want to interrupt, but absolutely we saw a very rowdy Apple there yeah. on a, a fairly ordinary little blitzer. Um, considering he has got other pommy options. Well, um, the thing is that this is the thing, right? I'll, I'll defend this Rowdy Apo because uh, this is overtime at best for Gilead, right? It's overtime yeah, at best, yeah. and he can lose the coin toss. And yep. even though there's very few L's on the pitch right now, if he loses the L, if he loses the coin toss, this can be very dodgy. So yeah, like you, it, like you know, Pro L's are the best two turning team in the game, aren't they? Pretty much with a nose of steel. So like, um, you just literally can't mark them out. While that's true, can you defend that GFI no. when there were just as easy ways to make that shape without any GFIs? Yeah, that was appalling. Time? That was completely Good. appalling. Good. <laughs> that was horrendous. But the, the but I, I, I quite I, I like I quite like the power apple there. I think you would be tempted to not apple it because you're pretty confident. Obviously, you've made three cars. But yep. I think I think that was a pretty good situational power up all there because yeah you know it, I, I I didn't hate it I did think it was rowdy and against pro elves it's not like you're fearing them suddenly removing five players in a turn they might because you're Norse but they they shouldn't really yeah um, I did so not only did I not like that go for it which just felt awful yeah. uh, but I would have loved this cage one space to the left because it was less easy to do what the pro elves have done which is actually caused a bit of a problem for the Norse here. I, I don't know what it is. It was pretty. It was pretty awful. Pretty awful turn all round for the Norse there. And he's going to get the dirty player foul in now, though, and make everything okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it could be one of those turns that was awful that has led to wonderful things, couldn't it? Mm. The ball looks reasonably secure, and this is a foul he really wants to work. 
I mean, I'm sure he really Oof. wanted to here, Dev. Whether it was the right play or not <laughs> is a different question. <laughs> because he wanted to blitz with a Yeti. No, I'm done. <laughs> But yeah, this situation where, you know, the, the cage is harassed, like at the start of the turn, this would have been a, a less bad turn to, to mark out the mm. bomber, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But the turn where he did, it, it felt superfluous. It wasn't a treaty much. Oh. Yeah. Yikes. Well, Paravale's getting some rotten luck here with the Kaz. <laughs> yeah, he tried to he tried to blitz with the Yeti and failed. He might try again now, get down the side. Why not? I, I think he will. Again, it's a jug upon <laughs> Yeti. It, it's, that's how it's lived its life. Look, he's putting the two assists in Jim to make it oh, three. Oh, God, now. he really is. No, he's not, he's not, he's not. Oh, because he's hitting from there. Very nice. Ah, uh, right okay, thing. that's nice. That's a nice angle, yeah. Yeah, did the right. That clears a lovely route for the ball up yeah. into the sideline. It's it's the, actually a beautiful blitz. Yep. I did say he's done some decent Norsey. Yeah, he um, has, yeah. And even where the Yeti fails there, it doesn't stop the same thing, but he goes around the back. Okay. And he's now going to move the Rackle piece. And hence could have had more space, but yep. it's nice and safe for this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd have screened it and had a lot more space, but yeah, it's fine. Yes. And you can't really screen against elves. This is safer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But, you know, you've still got to get forward a bit, and there's still... Yeah. There's still some elves in the way, isn't there? There is. And some elves is too many. Elf is probably fine. <laughs> elves, probably too many. And he's only got one reroll, and he might, you know, there's a sidestepper, isn't there, which isn't really in the way, but there's still, you know, there's a fact there's a sidestepper and some other people, you might have to use a reroll on the hit. Like, it's conceivable that you might have to use a reroll to score. And if you yes. do, then you're out of rerolls in overtime. Absolutely. I, I, think, three. I think that's huge, and that's a really achievable goal for Perivale here, is if they can get the last reroll away from Norse in their attempt to score. That's that's fabulous. You'd call that job done, go to overtime with three rerolls, and then even if you don't get the ball, there's still going to be some chances. Yes, getting a bit Norse. Oh, a bit oh. more Norse. <laughs> In comes the Jugs Blitz. Not for me, I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're still there. I, I did worry you might have missed the Yeti Blitz. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I saw it with my own eyes. And then wow. I, there comes the oh. <laughs> We've waited all game for that. Uh, or, oh no, hang on, we've waited nearly a turn. <laughs> is he going in? It looks like. Jesus Christ. Boom! Jesus need the Christ! That's terrible, isn't it? Imagine it's, reducing elves to like four elves and then not scoring on turn 16. It's it's confident. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ, you know, Christ! Pro elves famously the best two turners in Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to have a team to two turn for your life you'd pick pro elves of course that that does involve the s there um which despite my joshing is not present on this pro elf team yeah yeah to be fair there's there's only five of them yeah. <laughs> but still there's, there's still and only out. five of them i'm not and even I, sure that I counts as a full end, full nest does it not really no there is a movement now in a catcher there Yes, yeah, full on Tato time, and let's see, it can happen. Yeah. Now, are we seeing a sense? We are looking like a very sensible defence here. The line of scrimmage spread so that at least three elves have to start in contact. Um, it's not about who gets hit now, it's about that. It's three contact points. Something deep with the Rackle, excellent. Are we sure Gilead is only one person? Maybe they are two brothers and uh, one play, one turn. Chocolate, yes, you know? yeah, that, that, that would make some sense. We've listened to Art and the one good player in one penguin tournament, and they're, they're, they're doing they're doing it in CCL. Yeah, so, yeah. What do you think, Jim? I like the the backstop players. I like the, the line of scrimmage. I do worry this midfield. We should perhaps have one wide each side just to force a blitz. So. Yeah, I would have liked them. I would have liked more more in the way because this this really does give Curvale a, a pretty decent. Oh my God, what a kick as well! Yeah, a pretty decent shot here. Well, this is... It does. It gives him a lovely little side area, which I would at least have made them blitz their way into. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, you've got to reroll it. You've got to reroll it. Yeah. It's your only chance yeah. of winning in normal time. And as, we, as you've said, he really has given him that shot here. 
Yeah, left better, yeah, no pom hit. And and obviously this bludge guard as well, yeah, yeah, left would have been better, wouldn't it? Oh it's double oh. one. Oh that was a one in nine. He still he still did he still did double one, but yeah. But I That was the play, that was the play there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Three plus two plus to put the final cover in, and now it almost certainly won't work. Still, this defence was bad, which gives us hope that if the uh, the pro elves get the ball in overtime, there might be a, another shot. Yep. That's the foul. Do you think he's going to pile on? Oh no, it's not the pompies. It's the rack, of course. Yeah, I think I would have gone. I think I would have gone left, away from the elf and away from the pom. Yeah, I think yeah. Because that way, also, you can blitz through the, um, the Berserker as your to get uh, yeah, another elf up there if it had all gone to that point rather than that final dodge. Well, not anymore. This loner can still score, right? <laughs> I didn't like the reroll there. I, I, no, I don't like that at all. I mean, no. Rowdy, very rowdy. Still, I suppose we've got two rerolls, and really our only hope is if it doesn't work now, is that we use those on turns one and two of overtime. So yeah. three is a bit superfluous. Yeah, I guess, but I, w I still would not have rerolled. But yes, there's an argument for it, isn't it? There's an argument for lots of things, isn't there? Uh, oh, yeah. I lost, okay. lost the toss. Yeah, elves are screwed. Oh yeah, I mean that that's basically a certainty, yes, Paravale. But still, I would have still I would have still just gambled on the fifty percent of having a chance. I would have still liked two rerolls, you know, like it's it's just hard, isn't it, with five minutes? Yeah, Paravel, you, you absolutely should have been over the other side, I'm afraid. Yes, you did a good game. Can't say the same by Gilead, some uh, controversial decisions. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those odd ones, isn't it, where, he, like I said, most turns, it was some very solid Norse. Yeah. But I know there's yeah, a little bit of over, overhitting, but it, which one Norse player doesn't do that? Um, it, it's how they make their, their, their wins. So, they, of course they do, but there just were a couple of decisions that were just crazy, crazy bad. Is he not saying up for the surf? No, he's not. He's saying of oh, the counter blitz. Good. Yeah, counter Good. blitz, which is the right setup. Yeah, yeah. Prefer that. At first, I was I was going to want to surf this guy, but then I thought actually, yeah, it's just stop the blitz, yeah. and eventually that's what he went for. Move the jetty. Imagine the jetty catch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 The worst possible square for the Norse. Now the Norse are just thinking about over the level, though, aren't they? Why drop it by the ball? Why? <laughs> yeah, that's that's terrible. <laughs> My God, look at this Ulf and a move five edge one. <laughs> I mean, Jim, you don't drop it by the ball anyway, but you you, you don't pile on. You just you oh, can't. that's why. That's why. Look, it, it was so you could blitz him. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. If that's your plan, blitz that clears. That clears there, right? So there, there was there was a reason, there was a method to his madness. I love you. Hope it bounces over the piled on elf and available for the other elves. Damn. <laughs> I mean, at least he had a plan behind it, right? That was the idea, wasn't it? To, to fill in the square for the. Uh... Except then he piled, so yeah. It's not a very good idea, Jim. What's his madness on purpose? Yeah, okay, Chanda. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. The both down. Yeah, alright. Maybe, Razzle. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and now... 1 in 36. Yeah, and now it's it's almost over, isn't it? Yeah, this was a yeah. nice thing, yeah. 
Yeah. But it was a deliberate norsing as well. <laughs> when offered the ball, they went, no, we're going to norse you. Yeah, it was amazing. Mate, don't you come with this blood bowl tactics nonsense. We're not doing that. <laughs> Tried the Canadian gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it's over. And, and mostly the Norse play has most turns been pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. Ah, he's, he's going to score on him. Oh, it's not. You know, he's going to get a complete. He can't risk a completion. He almost can't risk a handoff as well, right? Just because if it's on he's the. He's got ball, his reroll. If it's on, the, I, I wouldn't even hand off. I genuinely wouldn't even hand off because if if it goes wrong, the elves can just pick it up, can't they? I, I wouldn't play. either. There is a time to do some farming, and it's not now. And certainly not against elves. And if you do, you do it up at the other end because he's got plenty of turns. Get up there in two and then spend three or four turns messing about if you need to. Yeah. But you don't do it here. Yeah, he's made. He's made. There was what I think there was one big mistake from Paravale and then like multiple big mistakes from Gilead. But uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it was a fun game, wasn't it? Things things happened. Yeah. Including a big norsing, a big old norsing at the. <laughs> Yet he just balancing its stats. <laughs> yeah. Failing a few irrelevant ones at the end of the game. Yeah, the classic, the classic dice log move. <laughs> it's I thought it was over, over, over moving, and then just allowing a two D on the ball. I, I would have rather kept the team together and not done that. Yeah, there was definitely a way that that space was takeable, but without that level of risk. And the marking of the jump up, we both thought yes. was not good. Yeah. Yeah. Way <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimme was super, super polite. Closed the cage, didn't defend at all. Very, very nice. Very nice play from very, very polite, very, you know, a true gentleman. <laughs> I'd argue 100%, Dimmy, I think. <laughs> I think if there's one constant <laughs> of Blood Bowl, it's that playing is bad. <laughs> okay, he used his reroll. What did he use his reroll on? On, on the, the handoff. Oh, God. Yes. Well, I guess yeah. he had to because he hasn't got sure hands. Jeebus. Well, he didn't have to, but yeah, if he wanted to do it, that was a bit. That was a bit. That was a bit rowdy, wasn't it? And look, we will break the elf armor, so. But only that, only to a stun. Then just the score and sort. Wow. Well, it works, so that makes it right, Jim. Yep, yeah, that's exactly how. That's exactly how dice work. As much as as much as Dionysian may think there are no dice, there are dice, and if the dice worked, it was definitely the right play. He admitted it when I showed him a whole damn bag. <laughs> well, Perivale, you got in once. You can do it again. Yep. He called him a bag of yeah. dreams, didn't he? It was brilliant. He did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, commiserations, Paravale. Congrats, Gilead. You know, hopefully not offended by our scathing no, criticism, but you know, there were some things that were a bit dodgy, weren't there, that we didn't agree with, but there you go, still won. Um, thank you very much, Fimir and Purple Chest, for coming in That's to the true. booth and commenting. Glorious of you both. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to be here. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.